River. V, hey. I need your help. Sounds like it. What happened? I should talk about this on the hollow. We gotta meet. When and where? Tell me. Glenn, tonight. I'll flick you the details. Will you make it? Do my best. Thanks, V. Till then. Tick, 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 tick. Hey, V. How you holding up? Been better. I know. Probably not hard to tell. Nice ride. Brand new? Nope. Not in a chatty mood, I see. Not really. Sorry. So, what happened? Needed someone to talk to. Uh-huh. First, take a look. Hello, my name is Arif Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Today's story. A routine roadside inspection led the NCPD to the trail of a dangerous abductor and murderer. The incident occurred at the intersection of 7th and 15th Avenue. The following police footage was captured at the scene. 1038, I repeat at 1038. Registration 2 AA 6244 exit Copy that. Out of the car. Hands up. Easy, officer. Relax. Shut your mouth. Oh, shit. Uh, we have a 1053 and a 1054. I repeat, a 1053 and a 1054. The boy from the footage is Lavar Martinez, age 17. His parents reported his disappearance over a month ago. Unfortunately, Lavar's life could not be saved. His body could not withstand the severe septic shock he suffered. Autopsy reports revealed the teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car, belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, their fates remain unknown. Although the criminal widely known as Peter Pan survived the gunshot, he has not regained consciousness, making interrogation impossible. Please stay tuned to WNS... This is uh, Peter Pan. He in no case? You were looking for him? Never heard of him. Didn't cross my desk. What's the problem if they caught the guy? My nephew, Randy. Disappeared not long past. And what you just saw? The kid was wearing Randy's shoes. Ah, oh, Jesus. Randy's disappearance. You know anything else? My sister and I don't get along that well. Uh, I don't know much. Just wish I could have been there for her when she needed it most. And what, they figured you'd get emotional and kept you off the case? More like a restraining order. Won't let me anywhere near it. Gonagal took the lead on it. Lazy ass gonk. And so far, he ain't accomplished shit. No way I'd let this lie. I know. And that's why I'm asking for your help. So what do we need to do? Can't interrogate the guy because he's a veg, but... We can view his dreams. I'm sorry, dreams? You heard me. Come on, I'll explain on the way. It's an experimental procedure, but it's already yielding results. They record dreams that can be played back as BDs. You got access to these dreams? Not yet. They keep them in the lab with it until now. Okay, got an appointment. Not exactly. We'll go in together, but uh, not through the main entrance. 
We're gonna break the law? We'll find a different way in, and then hustle out quick. Never actually been here, so I'll need your help. Okay, shouldn't be anyone inside. The lab's in the middle of an audit, so make all the noise you want. How are we gonna find this brain dance? Look for a room where they edit the dreams of autistic kids. Oh, and remember, Peter Pan's real name is Anthony Harris. They definitely don't store any BDs in this area. Some kind of shard, but it's blank. Keep looking. Hey, River. I think I got it. Found something? Not yet. Anthony Harris. Let's try these drawers. Say, River. Why not just have a janitor crack a door for you? Can't risk getting scolded for sniffing around somebody else's River. case. Yo! What are you doing here? You got kicked off the force! Just suspended, actually. What does she mean by that? He hasn't told you? Yawen, please, listen to me. Aren't you in enough trouble already? Harris kidnapped my nephew. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But we store evidence here, and we have strict protocols. Protocols? Talking about his nephew's life here. A child's life. This is an ongoing police investigation. Go, please. Get out now! can't leave now. without Peter Pan's dreams. I'll say it one last time. Out! Damn it, Yawen. Who the fuck do you think you are? Remember your first med school exam? You know the one. Passed it with flying colors. Gotta remember it. Ladies' room erupted in flame. They evacuated everybody for two hours. I cannot believe you would throw that in my face. I never wish to see you here again. Especially you. You don't know him well, do you? This man is a bastard. River and I get along, we're friends. Hasn't let me down yet. Huh. I thought us friends too. Is that why you're refusing to help him out? Harris is dream beady. Where is it? He isn't dreaming. 
What? Why? A bullet damaged his cerebral cortex. We get only dissonant urges. Pieces. Looks like a dead end, River. I'm sorry. Audio-visual stimulation. That's what we gotta try. But he isn't on the spectrum. A favorite song or movie helps you reach the kids. Might be worth a try. I am aware of the similarity. Hypothalamus stimulation and hormone production. But Harris is not a child. I have never tried the procedure on an adult. Any reason you haven't? Because, unlike River, I went to med school and studied neuroscience. And not by reading about it over someone's shoulder on the metro. Let's try it. We don't even know his preferences. I'll find something. I mean you're willing to try. Just go. I'll open the front door for you. Let's ride, V. I know exactly where to start. Say, by the way, what do you know about biochips? Arasaka's relic in particular. Well, it's designed to store a person's neural engram. Oh, uh, sorry. Just imagine copying over a person's memories and personality. Right, I get that. More curious what happens if the stored engram overwrites the engrams of the chip carrier. Overwrites? I... I'm not even sure that's possible. Why do you ask? Nah, never mind. Not a big deal. Thanks. Cops seem to like you. Careful this one doesn't start sending you out for donuts. What? No, River's all right. For a cop, you mean? Not every cop's a bastard. Just like not every rocker boy's a narcissistic dickhead. Don't know, V. You ever actually met a rocker boy who didn't fit that description? All in all, no. your badge. Didn't tell me about it. Why? I don't know. Makes you a bit of a leadhead, don't it? Yeah, that it do. It's just, um, uh, it's not easy for me to talk about what's biting at my ass. Fair enough. Could tell me where we're headed, though. To Joss's. Randy's mom. She thinks he just ran away from home. For now, keep the kidnapping between us. Tell me about Randy. What kind of kid he is. Petty theft, drugs, running away from home. That kind. Cop uncles really see the best in you. There are people who always find their way into trouble. Randy's one of them. Where's Randy's dad? Been a few years since he got popped. Gang war. Hmm, great role model. Josh was left alone with three. <laughs> but she's as tough as weathered leather. You gonna tell me why we aren't trying to find Harris's apartment? That's a house. I doubt he's keeping his victims in his basement. And besides, we are trying. Wanna see if we can find some connection to Harris at Randy's. Pretty weak lead. Best we can hope for just now. Not worried Yawin's gonna toe the line, rat you out to her superiors? Used to be friends. Doubt she'd do that. Plus, not that I'd use it, but I do know one skeleton she'd prefer remain tucked in her closet. Think Yawin will actually help us, all things considered? Yeah. These tiffs of ours always end up the same way. I'll tell you about it over a beer sometime. Sign me up. We find Randy, then we find the bottoms of a few bottles. It'll be my pleasure.
right. This is it. It's sure been a while. He used to come over every weekend. Come and go. And? Changed it all since? Places like this never change. Lovely neighborhood. Mwah. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. So V, is this about my Randy? Randy's been taken. Why didn't you call? Joss, I... Uh... Throw a blanket over the truth, like always. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Arguing's not gonna help anyone. He's my child. You got no place telling me how to behave. Joss. Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. Tell them it's time to eat. What's on your mind? I think it's good she learned the truth. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? Monique, Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Just a friend. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Your mom's waiting for you with dinner. Their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. We used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. Chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Let me give it a shot. Eureka. Help me scour this, will you? Is 
they caught Harris in a vehicle like that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. True angel of empathy, this guy, huh? Figured out Randy's identity. Sent him the game as a present. This guy baited Randy like a pro. River, do you... Are you seeing what I'm seeing? There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. A hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. There's a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. That name? Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Hey look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Not that kind of magician. Oh, okay. We'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, eh, Come on. Let's grab a bite. Let's not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? We're hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. But that's it. Dorian, please. But it really tastes like boogers! Joss, we're finished. All done. Off to bed, then. We left some for you, Uncle River. Thanks, Monique. Tell me you found something. 
Looks like Randy knew his kidnapper. They were in touch. Why would he do something like that? You know him, kids. Look for help in the wrong places. When's the last time you ate? Yesterday. Have mine. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Maybe later. Now you? No bullshit. Don't look at my brother, just tell me. Will you find my boy? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if V takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Of course I'll stay. Find your way all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. Hang in there, Joss. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month, just to not have him hang around. How'd he die? Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed. The father of my children. I'm... I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home, let me tell you a story. This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead ass drunk, raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. Let's, um, change the subject. V, wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You, you got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. That doc of yours is quick. Not bad. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. But that is no excuse. Fuck you. What did you just say? 
Okay, I've had enough. The principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. failed, dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was sick, weak. I just wanted to help him. First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament. Now hold on. Let me check which school won that tournament. Laguna Bend. Oh, looks like the whole town got flooded in the 50s. Well, at least we know the general area where Harris lived. I guess that'd be that. Recognize this shooting. There was a case study back at the academy. something? I asked you a question! I... I don't know. Choline, I'm at thy nine levels. See anything odd? Um... too low? You were supposed to check before school. What are you gonna say for yourself? I was gonna die because of you. Gonna kill it like you killed your mama. I... I'm sorry. Don't apologize, just dial up her hormones. And shut off that goddamn cartoon! How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Half the day I spent trying to turn that shit off. That'd be that.
Harris looks even younger here. Cattle injectors for hormones, antibiotics. People ate meat loaded with the shit. <sighs> Got no way to ID him. Kid's father was a real hard ass. Tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Supplements in the feed for disease-free livestock. Looks like a cattle bioscanner. We're checking vitals. And where are you up to, mate? Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. Yeah, I'm just power your own with... I think this might be the place, V. It's a recent memory. Gotta be his hideout. Got some cables. Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. Must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Got a clock. An hour to midnight. Fuck me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. Machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, something. Look, another one. Fire department search stamp right here. City South, perfect. Don't see Randy anywhere.
Hearing what I'm hearing? Trash barge. That's the signal to dump. Has to be a landfill nearby. Signage on the farm model points to Petro Camp. The terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. The Illuminated Towers, promoting the Uscracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. Okay, so where do we sit now exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Uscracks Towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farms located near a landfill. We know that too. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. Right. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's gotta be our place. So, we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. Two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. <sighs> I don't know that sooner how he felt. What was eaten at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! This is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick.
Come here, quick! Oh, fuck. Too late for this one. Randy? Hey, you got this, buddy. I'm here with your uncle. It's gonna be all right. Breathing. Good. Just hold on a bit longer. south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, we're laying coordinates. No, several, at least. Do it quick, damn it. Oh, and watch for automated defenses on site. They're substantial. Okay, Hurry. I'll disconnect Gotta turn it. it off. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. a few days already. It's okay. Don't be scared. We're here to help. You're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. Hey, help me with Randy! Alive? Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Help me with Randy! I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. He's in a coma, in police custody. He's not getting away with anything. He's still alive. So in a sense, he is getting away with it. Not for long, though. I'm gonna squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Reffer, come on, man. I won't change anything. Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat, hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain-dead vegetable? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. Actually... Got quite a bit you can do, River. Joss, Randy, the kids. They're gonna need you now. More than ever. Yeah. No, you're right. Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time. But rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah. Need a little time to myself now. But then I'll call you. My will. Hey. We're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Hey, don't be a stranger. Poor boy. 
please. All your years ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the Force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisted. Forgotten I exist after all. I had to sort some things out. Help my sis. Randy's still in the hospital. Someone has to keep an eye on the kids when Joss visits him. Wax. Don't need to explain. Right. So, are you gonna stop by? How could I say no? Right, great. See you at Joss's then. Sounds preem. Glad you're here. We need oh, your help cooking. Hey. What's on Hi. the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat. Hey, how's it going? Dunno. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. This an ancient ward family secret? Uh huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but I gotta ask. What about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh, you know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. That's exactly what I told him. But he always got the same speech back. Nobody cares about these kids who don't exactly fit the mold. That's Maddie, nice. In those words, yeah. I wanted to tear my hair out every time I heard him. And when can I visit again? That's great. Because I really want to bring him something. He loves music, so... Sorry? No, I'll remember. Just tell me. Thanks so, so much. You've been wonderful. Huge help. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk again soon. Really nice of you to come. Uh, thanks for having me over. I should be thanking you. Looking good, Joss. Really think so? Thanks. How's Randy? Still in the hospital. Still in shock. 
But he's making progress. Haven't had a chance to tell you just how grateful I am. What matters is it's over now. I just don't know how to repay you. If Randy uh, had... Don't owe me a thing, Joss. Thank you. River's in the backyard. He couldn't wait to see you again. Tomatoes are next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now, about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? How well, my parents died. Now, I'm sure you want to hear this. What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. River, you don't gotta go on. Heard sob stories enough? No, just... This is tough, I can tell. You really don't need to rehash it now. Okay, yeah. You're probably right. Just, Harris, what did you do? Had the gun to his head, and... I've ended a few lives in my time. But never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. P.I. has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. V, join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. Dorian, we're playing! Yeah, big trouble in Haywood. Grab your set. Well, what do you think? Always wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. Got a crash course? Anything I ought to know? The entire city is sick with crime and corruption. Lawlessness rules the streets. And we're no saints either. Even the police are haunted by the sins of their past. But the city's without hope. No one else would ever dare face F. 
Chamuco and Diablada. Oh, he's the worst, but I know we can beat him. The city's most evilest mastermind ever. All right, let's get to it. Right. All we gotta do is track down El Chamuco and Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. Avi, just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. <gasps> Watch out! It's Scroonies! Take that! <laughs> Too slow! Too many donuts! Oh, you got it! Nuh uh! Next round! Next round! Way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm, quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! God. is ready. Was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? He 
Used to see family as baggage. Something that'd hold me back. You know, career first. Didn't do any better for not having one, though. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Speaking of, it'd be great if Randy was here. Won't be long. Randy loves Jambalaya. Speaking of, it'd be great if Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yes! Who says yes? I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself! <laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um... Well, that's decided. <laughs> Got an 11.99. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. You're just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way I... Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. No need. Whoa! Okay, we like leaping. Just push. Uh, okay! On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. Life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. the worst city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Scrapers actually seem pretty majestic out here. Not seeing what goes on inside. Memories? High stress, dirty backstabs, kind of pressure that gives you ulcers. Somehow, I just don't miss it. Got something for you. Wow. What's the occasion? Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. This very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Got some lemonade? Anything in that vein? Lemon? <laughs> well, sure, but... Seriously? 
was supposed to be a family dinner. I wasn't expecting a hard lubrication. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. Sure you don't mind me drinking? Probably lots more. No, you kidding. Your spot this. Your customs. You'll hang with me, though. I can be awfully charming when drunk. <laughs> we'll see. of the moon and there's still no cure for hangovers well at least we had fun yesterday yeah um, but now i gotta roll promised joss i'd take her to see randy no rush either get your sea legs back take as much time as you need apologize to joss for me we kind of dined and dashed yesterday and left puke all over the bathroom oh shit Sure you're good to drive. Please. Former NCPD. I'm a pro on Hangover Highway. I'll be fine. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V.